It's this episode. Uh, yeah, this is, there we go. This is the uh, episode where I'm going to trash Tommy some more because it's when he becomes Native American out of nowhere. <laughs> it's there to get trash. I mean... <laughs> There can be ar- there, there, before there were arguments that were to be made of, eh, maybe Power Rangers wasn't racist. <laughs> hey, Walter wanted, Walter was the one who came up with the idea for Zach to, to be dancing and shit like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It just so happens that they cast uh, an Asian actress as, as as Trini for the for the regular show because remember they, she was Hispanic. Before they recast. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Before, like originally, Trini was Hispanic, mm-hmm. and then that for for the pilot, and then for the actual series, they cast an Asian actress. So you know, there's root, there's arguments to be made that no, they weren't being racist, but <laughs> but then like no one, everybody's like, you uh, have the Ranger become Native American, nigga. Like everybody was like always telling me like, oh, Power Rangers is racist. I'm like, no, it's not. And I was like, how come no one ever brought up Tommy? Just run the mill white dude. Then he becomes Red Zio Ranger. Now he's Native American. It was like, I don't know what you're talking about. It's like exactly you're using the wrong examples. Where did the suspect that? Oh hey, you're red now. Um, you Shit, have this arrowhead. Suspect as hell. For <laughs> real, suspect as hell now. All is that racist or is that appropriation? Both. Yeah, and it's the worst. And that's the bad thing about it. It's both. (laughs) (laughs) Woo. What's up, guys? This is Courtney. One half of Brothers Deconstruction here. And I'm Bruce, the older other half of the Brothers Deconstruction. No, the Bruce hat today. I I just grabbed a hat. Yeah, he literally just (laughs) randomly grabbed a hat. Imposter. (laughs) But, uh, and that, of course, is our uh, disembodied voice joining us on the uh, watch along. So we're back at it with some more of the ZO watch along, which has been a headache to get on the channel, but enjoyable just to do. So. <laughs> well, it wasn't enjoyable for you last week, sir. I enjoyed last week. I'm sure you Kat... had a grand time last weekend. Don't don't <laughs> lie. I'm sure Cat enjoyed last week with you just. Oh man, a chef's kiss. I while I completely agree, we need to have a civilized and real conversation <laughs> about how zeal is funny. In the light now. The Z was looking real funny in the light. Alright. <laughs> it was up on the pedestal. We gotta take it off the pedestal. <laughs> we gotta we gotta reserve that spot for some gotta reserve that spot for something else. <laughs> it's uh now it's the it's a theme song still, you know, top two and it ain't two for you. It's just a show it's just dropping back it dropped out of your yeah, top five it, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it's like Damn, Zio's top five. Now it's like, it ain't in the top five. I don't know if it's six, but it definitely ain't in the top five. Pull that magnifying glass back, man, before it's too late. <laughs> uh, you know, I gotta... Uh, but I guess it has been an enjoyable experience. If nothing else for the fucking outburst. So... You know, we're jumping into it with the, uh, we're on episode 18, and as you can see from my editing, once again, I'm consistently fucking up. So, that's why I, I gotta change my setup so I can monitor recording stuff like that. But, certain episodes are gonna be missing. Uh, the first three episodes aren't gonna go up because those will get copyrighted, because I didn't edit the video enough from the original source. So, YouTube ain't playing that. But, you know, episode 18, Inner Spirit. I got some shit to say about this, which will probably be at the beginning of the video, because we did, like, a pre-talk. And, you know. Yeah. I look forward yeah, to this. this is def- <laughs> yeah, this, this is definitely one of those, uh, yeah. 
Arcella. Arcella. Jumping right into it. Whoever wants to start it can go ahead and do that. I am adjusting. Uh, I guess one of you guys can, can press play because I'm adjusting my whole pop out window. There we go. All right. I guess I'll hit play. Everybody good? Yep. Yeah. Because I realized I actually don't need the pop up window. Um, Only those true of heart. Oh, okay. Oh, you skipped the intro, all right. Yeah. That's what Remember? I said. Uh, what just happened to my video? Disney's all like, hey, we own that song. Still don't know how. Yeah. And here we go. I'm not the only one whose uh, video is like choppy as hell. Uh, yeah. Mine's playing great. Oh, man. That's fine. Oh, okay. If anyone can figure this out. Guess I'm the only one who's uh <laughs> We trash ass internet. <laughs> Alpha. Alpha, wake up. Alpha. Zordon's now a dream interpreter, apparently. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my video to catch up. Oh, hat. oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I see it says people are buffering. Tommy, what are you doing here? You should be sleeping. Tommy, it's quite my video it's buffering like a motherfucker, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you check the status of the Zeo Megazord? Of course. All systems appear to be online, and there are no indications my of any <laughs> Remember how I told you how the episode of Are You Afraid of the Dark was playing when you screen share? Yeah. I just had the crazy That's screen. literally what, what my video is doing right now. And I, I think it's trying to catch up. <laughs> so you're just like fast forwarding? Yes. It's going for like frame by frame fast forwarding and I think it's trying to catch up. Hold on. Do like a pause. Uh, uh, uh. A pause. I, I, right when you, right where you pressed it, oh. it started playing normal. So go ahead and press play. Alright. Alright, we good. They playing drums now? Yeah. There goes that cultural appropriation. Bruh. They might be real natives, who knows? I mean, no, no, I mean, they are. That Tommy keeps but, dreaming you know. about his arrowhead, and now there's this whole Native American arts exhibit here. Okay. Rockies. Yeah, and Tommy's having <laughs> a fucking dream and shit. Come on now, bruh. Yeah, what was that all about? I don't know. Oh, they lose the face in a leader. American Arts Festival is the first event sponsored by the police. <laughs> by they, they mean you mean you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, no, I, I can't lose faith in the leadership that I never had faith in to begin with. That's true. Here you are. Friends of the channel. Do you expect us to sell raffle tickets? So if I understand you correctly, you do not want to go to Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii? <laughs> the prize for selling the most tickets for the incredible silver and turquoise arrowhead is an all-expense paid trip to Hawaii. Beautiful. You can count on us to sell, sell, it's sell. It's just weird that there's like, hey, the symbols of Native American is, you know, arrowheads and whatnot. Mr. Kaplan! How would you like to buy rapture? <laughs> oh, sorry, fellas. Nineties were a really simpler time. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very cringe. It's very, very nineties cringe. Definitely. Guys, need any raffle tickets? Maybe for like an intro to everything. Sorry. <laughs> you kept it at the intro level. Skull. We've got to find this Delmar guy and stop this him before he wins <laughs> our <laughs> ears. What was that? It's another power surge. Some fighter just morphed in there or teleported <laughs> in there. It was. It's, it's one of those ranges because they don't. They just don't give a fuck and see us. Wow, Tommy taking out old dudes? I'm fine. Man. <laughs> just, just in a big hurry. What, what is that? Damn, nigga. You just, <laughs> you ain't got a rabble like that Sam shit. York. I'm curator of this exhibit. I just realized I left an important artifact behind. I have to find a cab. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't I just give you a ride? My car's right there. That would be great. 
Wait, wasn't he like a super mystical old dude sure in uh, <laughs> Alien Rangers when he just like disappeared on time like he's a crap man? <laughs> I hear it all the time. That's an interesting necklace. I've collected arrowheads my whole life. Yeah, someone gave this to me a long time ago. I sure wish I knew where the other half was. Oh, okay, you was that last season? On your journey instead of its destination. Well, this is my stop. Here? Are you sure? I'm sure. Some travels end where others begin. I was about to do it again. This is the uh, Native American trope the, uh, with this equivalent to, to myth you, was it mythical Thank Negro? You, sir. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the mythical Native. This is an excellent yeah. place to find arrowheads. Thanks. I'm about to disappear because I have ma I'm, I'm magic. Our people are just generally magic. Too. Nigga just ran like he was the Flash. Arrowheads. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't call that uh, dusting. I wouldn't even call that running away. That didn't even look like. That looked like he, he turned into sand and got blown away in the wind. The main drain monster. Anybody you, you drop know, off in the middle of the desert must be a mystic. Mystical, mystical natives, man. They'll get you. <laughs> Look at Nightwolf. So in other words, our main drain will be the fucking head with the broad end of an axe. Throwing out spiritual wolves and shit. Okay, look. Customer. Hey, Skull, let's make a pact. Delmar or no Delmar, we are going to Hawaii. Children have no money. I've been saying this for years. I was a children once. Just think of it, Skull. There will be relaxing on the beach. I had no money. For you. <laughs> For you, a children and Angel Grove? No. Like children and Angel Grove might have money. Because the there are no, like, responsible adults, so it's, I would assume they have to get the Let's jobs. Go. Hey, kid. Hey, you want to buy some... Uh... Got mine already. From Delmar. Okay, I guess they do have money. <laughs> that Delmar creep is everywhere. He's gonna ruin everything if we don't stop him. Delmar sounds like the name of a fucking. Yeah. Oh, my monkey. Oh. That's. I think that's a taco. Was it? Uh, there's a taco chain out here called Taco Delmar. He sold a lot of tickets, and we've sold nothing. Delmar, the name just by itself sounds like the name of a of a villain. Be the best possible Of a fucking Power Rangers. So. Uh, He's their villain right now. He's still in their trip to the islands, man. Okay, good point. That would be amazing if he actually turned into the big bad in this episode. I'd like to buy some tickets. What do you think you're looking at? There's Delmar. <laughs> it's Delmar. Oh, Like, after our last conversation with Paul, I am now looking forward to Narvi just, like just being angry on set. Oh, man, it was strange. Yeah. What do you guys think it means? I don't know. It, it sounds so weird. You said it. Tommy, if you're going to find out, you have to find him. Call 911! Call 911! When the hell did he start wearing this arrowhead necklace? That's uh, when the problem began. Don't worry, folks. I do that every time the power goes out, too. <laughs> I think he started wearing an arrow. Like he was given an arrowhead, you know, when he got his Zeo crystal. What's going on? King Mondo's main drain monster is draining all the <laughs> Main drain? Come on. You must stop him at once. Got it. It's morphing time. Man. Oh, well, the power's out, so no one will see them morphing. Oh, nobody's going to see them. Uh, oh, yeah, they're not going to see these. <laughs> Right ass. The power goes out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Good time we get the Zeo Crystal. At the end of Alien Rain. That's when they all got their Zeo Crystal. That's crazy. Remember when so we watched did... the last when we did the watch along with Paul? We were watching Rocky go get his Zeo Crystal. That's right. 
No, that was it. Never mind. I'm mixing up both, uh, both seasons. Oh. The card, please! Because I keep forgetting that Alien Rangers lay it straight into Zeo. Yeah. So it was basically a Zeo, Zeo prequel. So mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm mixing it, mixing shit up. Because I'm like, out of all the Zeo episodes we've been watching, I don't remember Tommy getting the damn crystal. Like, shouldn't, shouldn't we have seen him fucking as a kid as well? Totally fucking didn't realize it. Oh, so I was doing a thing where I've been grabbing like screen grabs from Power Rangers, you know, the like multi parters when you get the two different Mm hmm. So I was like just going through it. And then, like, uh, in season three, like, Pat's hanging out in the tree to show this is to show how long she's been plotting this. She's like hanging out in a tree watching Tommy and Kim, and she was like, and she rips a picture of them in half, holds up Kim's part, and throws it out, and it's just Tommy's part. I go, we just talking about how long this shit is. She's been plotting to get Tommy. Yeah. Goes back there with his thought. Oh, no, that started since she started since she showed up. Yeah, she wasn't even in the ranger. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, the fact that they actually went. <laughs> that was the highest level. Teenagers in the 90s, that was the, the height of hate, was to rip up pictures. That was how you expressed your anger back then. Or, or eat, you know, maniacal plans. Rip up pictures and be angsty. That's how you had to do it. Zordon, I have secured the Zeo Megazord in the repair bay and I am scanning it now. I can't believe Mandrain and Mondo tricked us. You mean you actually trusted a monster to fight fair? If my estimation is mean, correct, how dumb Rocky is? He gets gems. To the Megazord. We can't wait that long. Mandrain will siphon all the energy out of Angel Grove and destroy the city. Oh, man. We can't do anything to stop it. But that's a Zeo Megazord. There's no way to stop this thing. There may be one way. Uh, Tommy. I'm Billy afraid always something like this would happen, so Billy and I have been preparing See? a new Zord for you to pilot. I've modified your Zeonizer crystal to access the Red Battle Zord. But I've got to warn you, Tommy. The Zord is not a Zord. This Zord. I, I was able to use your brainwaves and biorhythms to access the control system. Didn't have a main Megazord. I had that fucking Red Battle Zord, though. Your state of mind will directly affect your ability that machine to your gun fucking fist action. <laughs> Put the hands of E. Hondo on somebody. <laughs> I just hope I can think straight enough to handle it. Tommy, you've got to try. Why would Billy There's design no a sword like that? Every sword you drive, when you press buttons, the same thing should happen. There's no other choice. That's Look, brain we'll take uh, shit. And try to lure into uh, the city. Right, then you can meet up the yeah, machine you can't, gun you red can't drive your car just because you're Enough. upset. <laughs> well, some people can't. <laughs> <laughs> I know Courtney, like, some people in Houston shouldn't be upset without traffic. Because <laughs> this is what happens right here. <laughs> like, this is like one of the most recent episodes of Old Ranch Battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? I know. I know that, like, the little, the little snippet of. Uh, Red Zio like shimmying. <laughs> I know that they did in this uh Sentai series. Yeah. <laughs> so that just reminded me of the gift of them dancing. <laughs> and then the swords just dancing around and shit like that. So I'm sorry. I saw Shimmy and I just lost it. <laughs> what are you waiting for, you overgrown circuit breaker? Finish him. That's a very dumb episode. Like, like y'all can't y'all can't hide that shit though. <laughs> we saw that fucking shit. Wow. Oh, he's got the action figures. Bro, 
Bruh, you have machine gun action. <laughs> you have machine gun punching action with blasters as wrist gauntlets. I'm saying, Billy might be, just <laughs> might be a genius. Might be. I mean, that, that's obviously sarcasm. He is. <laughs> but. <laughs> Graduated like three years early. This nigga really get in the disorder and immediately start tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> My mind's not in the right place for me to be probably in the zone. Like dog. That's why in later seasons, someone decided it was a good idea to train you your Zord pilots. <laughs> if you are to save your world, you must be as one with it. This is a spirit uh, vision. Really why was it breaking up like it was on fucking TV? <laughs> because his mind's not in the right place to receive that thing. Oh, okay. That makes sense. At least that's how I interpreted it by Tommy. But oh man, my mind's not in the right place. Let's take care of Bro, you gotta admit this is a dope ass sword sign though. Here it comes. About to light you the fuck up. That more than it looks. The fucking machine gun punching action. Don't this nigga, like, spin? <laughs> uh, when, he, when he joins the uh, regular Z Omega Zord, oh. when they stand back to back and his arm goes up. Wait, is that this one? Yeah. Right, yeah. Now, isn't there an attack where he gets, like, shot out or something like that? He just flies towards somebody spinning and it's a punch. That's how, like, what happens when he's called, shot out the gun. Mm-hmm. Let's not dwell on his defeat, but on his accomplishment. Which we'll probably see, like, in a coming episode. From this one, too. Bruh, yeah, pump action blasters is risk comp. They will be unable to launch it. Get over the design of the sword, because it's so fucking dope. At least I think so, nobody else knows. Hey, how's the Megazord? Unfortunately, it's going to take a lot of work for it to get back to action. With the Z Omega Zord in repair, uh, you don't have that shit fixed by tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> this makes the Earth even more vulnerable than before. That's what he meant. That's this what he meant. This is a great responsibility. Like Billy's just playing hardball Zord. because he knows he should have been Ranger, You have defeated many opponents. Yeah. But your current challenge comes from within yourself. It's like it will take a long while, bitch ass nigga. Resolve your inner conflicts. The Earth will be in great danger. Then I know what I have to do. By long, I mean an hour. <laughs> That's the guy. Bingo. Just rob his ass and smack him out. Easy. So, you're the famous Delmar, huh? Here to buy some tickets, guys? <laughs> Listen, bucko. We're the ones who are going to be getting that suntan on Maui. You get it? Yeah. And I want my monkey back. What do you two think you're doing to the son of the chief of police? Son of the police chief? Oh, just getting some sales tips, sir. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you guys really want 50 tickets each, huh? You must be a better salesman than I thought. Yeah. You must be. Oh, the uppercut of those fucking suspicious <laughs> You have got to be Aloha. shitty. Who just walks around with their own leg? This cocky motherfucker. Because he's the son of the fucking police chief. Huh? Fuck you and your daddy. Oh, I think you two could learn a lot. <laughs> Still getting these hands. Just <laughs> Still getting these fucking hands. <laughs> Guess whose hands they are. <laughs> Red. <laughs> the hands of Yonda. <laughs> the hands of fucking E. Honda.
in the Indian on a horse? Them mystics, bruh. Hey there, guy who resembles me. That's what the comic they book really version of this episode is. They really turned this man into a Native American. <laughs> yeah. They really made this man a Native American.